Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Leo from the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mutant Mayhem movie. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Leo from the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mutant Mayhem movie, let's begin with the face. So I'm going to start right here and let's make the eyes. I'm going to begin by making a line that's just going to go down and then up in a check mark. And then I'll do another one here. We'll just go down and bring it up. Now, right underneath that check mark, let's make a big circle shape for an eye. And we'll do the same thing here. Let's make a big circle shape for the eye. I'm going to put a smaller circle on top for the pupil. And then I like to color in this whole pupil, but I like to leave just a small part of it white for a little bit of the reflection. Now, starting here, let's make a line that's going to curve up and come down for the head. Then we'll come out and in on the sides for the cheeks. Next, we'll come down and then up like this and just make sure you connect it right there. Now for the mouth, let's draw a little line. It's going to go over. It's going to come down and then back over here. I'm going to draw a little line. It's going to go down. We're going to come up, down, and back up. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to come down and then up here. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a little bump for the back of his bandana. And then we're going to make a line that's going to go up, down, and then back up. We'll do that same thing. Go up, down, and back up, and then connect it. That's going to be like the tie part of the bandana. Same thing here, just go up, down, and up, and then up, down, and up to connect it. Now right here, I'm just going to make two little lines that come in for the neck. And then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve for the top of the shell. Next, I'm going to bring a line down and then a line that comes down. You can see it comes in a little bit too. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to come out on each side. Then we're going to make this come down, up, and connect. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. And then I'm going to bring it out just a little bit. And then up here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up. And then we're going to bring it over like this. Now right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. It's going to go over and up. And then we're going to make a line that goes out, down, and in for one of the fingers. We'll do that same thing. Go out, down, and then bring it in for the finger. Now over here, we're going to do it a little different. We're going to come out and we're going to go down. And then I'm going to make another line. It's going to come down like this and then over. Then I'm just going to make a little curve across here. And we're going to bring this up. That'll be kind of where the thumb is. Next, I'm going to bring this line in and then back down to here. 
And then this one, we're going to come in and then up to here. And we can bring it right to the shell. Now, starting here, I'm going to bring a line that's going to come out and we're going to curve it back. And then same thing here, I'm going to come out and I'm going to curve it back in. Make a line that's going to come down and around for the toe. And another one, we're going to go down, bring it around, and then up. Do that same thing here. Just come down and in. Another one down, in, and then bring it up and over. I'm going to bring this one in. And then I'm going to bring this line up to the shell. And then same thing here. Let's bring this line in on the leg. And then let's bring it right to the shell. Now, we want to put part of the shell behind here. So I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve down. It's going to come to here. And then we'll curve it right down here. Then we're going to bring it right up to here. We'll do the same thing. Just curve a little line around. Curve a line down here. One more here. And then one more here, just to show a little part of the shell. Now we've got our basic shape of Leo in here. We just want to add some of the details. So I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to make kind of like a square shape for part of his belt. And I'm going to put an L in here for Leo. Then I'm just going to draw a line that goes right out to here and one more here. We'll do the same thing, line to here and then a line to here. And I know we see a lot of these extra little lines in there, but don't worry because we're going to color that in black later. Then I'm also going to make two little lines that come down here. We'll draw a line that goes all the way down. And we'll make another one across here. Next, let's make two lines here on the wrists. We'll do that for each one. And then we'll put two lines where the elbows are. We'll put two lines where the knees are. And we'll put two lines right here by the ankles as well. Next, I'm going to add some little lines on the shell here, just for some detail. Now, the next step is we want to draw his swords. So, I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to make a line that curves around and then we'll kind of curve in on this side. Right in the middle, let's draw a long line that comes down. Then we'll make another long line that comes down, a little bit longer. And then we'll connect it. Connect here. And we'll do a line here and a line here. Then we're going to do a little curve here for the bottom of the sword. Now up here, let's draw a little line. It's just going to go up, over, and down. You can bring it back over. Next, we'll make a little line. It's going to come down, over, and up. And then we're going to make a line that comes up here. And then we'll make a little smaller one here with a little line to connect. And there you go. There is your drawing of Leo from the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.